Hello Stampers! I've got a fun little quick card for you today using the Celebrate with Flowers stamp set from Stampin' Up. We're going to be using this flower here, but you could use any of the flowers that are included with this set for this and any color combination. Um, I love fall colors, so I'm starting to turn towards fall. And so I used um, balmy blue, so saffron, cinnamon, cider, and soft suede for this card. And it really took on a fall look, don't you think? So we're going to get started with this easy card. And we're going to start with a 2 inch by 5.5 inch panel. And this is basic white. And we're going to put our background in. This goes in really quick with our blending brushes. We're going to start with balmy blue. And we're going to put um, balmy blue over the top half of this little panel here. And then we'll turn to So Saffron next. And our yellow bl blending brush. Now you want to come up and meet that blue, but you don't want to combine the blue and the yellow. Otherwise you end up with green in the middle of your scene, which you don't want. I'm going to put this on fairly dark. Give it some nice bright color here. Okay, so that was so saffron. And next we'll go to cinnamon cider and I'm going to use my orange blending brush for this. I have a blending brush for each color family. So we're going to do, let's say the bottom one fourth with cinnamon cider. I love these blending brushes because I hope I got some of that cinnamon cider up in my sky area there. I think I'll fix that with a flower. So we got our background in here. Next we're going to put our stems in. And I'm going to use soft suede for that. stamp up here. I think I want a really tall one so I can uh, cover up my little mistake there. So I'm going to put this really quite tall. I'm going to double up that stem at the bottom. You want these at different heights. fairly tall one there at the side. Okay, so that was soft suede. I'm going to use cinnamon cider here. We're going to use our flower. I said you could use any flower, any color. We're going to put one at the top of each stem. Then we need some stamens and we're going to use soft suede for that. one. That was soft suede for that. And there's our super quick panel, right? So I'm going to set that aside and we're going to get our card base out here. And this is five and a half by eight and a half. It's a quarter card, an A2 size. Um, so I folded this eight and a half by five and a half piece in half. All right. And we're going to stamp, stamp those stems 
on this panel and we're going to use soft suede but I'm going to stamp them off once before stamping them on the cardstock to make them lighter otherwise it competes with your main image panel so we're going to stamp it off and then stamp it on the cardstock okay load it up stamp it on the cardstock stamp off on one more here up see I forgot to stamp off and there we got our dark one there we're not gonna sweat the small, small stuff today are we so I'm going to stay with soft suede and we're going to do our flowers with that too stamping off so this is second generation because first generations your first stamping stamp off on Really got to kind of pay attention to this because it never fails. I'll stamp right on my cardstock instead of stamping off. All right, so that's that. And then we're going to do stay with our soft suede to do our stamens stamping off. There's our background for our card. So we're going to put our, that's how that'll go on there. So we've got enough stamped in the background. So now I'm just going to put some linen thread. I'm going to wrap it around the bottom and tie it. So I want plenty of this nice long piece. I'm going to leave a long tail for tying. I'm going to wrap this around here a few times. Snug but not to where it bends your cardstock. Yeah, let's do five times and leave a long tail. Get that off with our snips. And then tie it in the front. I'm going to turn this around so it's upside down. I want my tails to be going the right direction. And I like to tie it in a knot and that way I don't have to fight with the keeping it tight. And there's my knot. Now I can just tie it in a bow and don't have to worry about it coming loose. Okay, there's my bow. If I saw it just a second here, make it much smaller. Get my tails going the direction I want. A little snip to clean up the tails. And I'm going to adhere this to the card front with Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm going to use eight dimensionals for this, one in each corner. And a couple down the sides. front and then I'm just going to add a little um, gel pen embellishment and we're going to do this with dots down each side 
I don't get too hung up about my dot spacing. I just try to keep them the same, but if, you know, if they're not, it's okay. Like I said, this is just embellishment. It's not rocket science. We're just going to take our white craft, our white chalk marker. I don't know why I want to call it something other than what it is. It's a white chalk marker and make a dot going down that side. And now we'll do the other side. Yeah, I'm not getting the ruler out for this or anything. Because we want to keep this card quick, right? So there's our, our dots, both sides. Turned out a cute, super cute card front, right? So now for the center, um, the middle, I'm going to stamp a sentiment here from the set that says, May your day be filled with sunshine. And I want to repeat my colors from, in, from the card front. I like to repeat them in the inside. So I have balmy blue going, so saffron, and I'm going to use the cinnamon cider now to stamp my sentiment. And I'm not adhering my panel I'm stamping it on yet because if I mess up, then I got the chance to turn it over and restamp on the back, right? So that was with cinnamon cider. Now I'm going to get my trusty glue out here. And all the dimensions for all these pieces are down below in the description. Just press show more and you'll be able to see all the dimensions plus the links to all the products you used. Uh, there is our inside. Layered it with balmy blue. And in it goes. So see how coordinated it looks when you repeat the colors inside. So there's our card for today. I hope you enjoyed this project. And if you're inspired, please click like and subscribe. Thanks for joining me. Bye.